Next on Street Smarts, your name is Buckwheat from Devil Vision. What large letter is at the top of a standard eye chart? Come on, Buckwheat. A. Can you see this? <laughs> the swinging single. Who do you want to hang out with if you're looking for solitude? Probably just Superman. Yourself. You don't want alfalfa around. Buckwheat all by itself. Oh, Tay. Oh, Tay. Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Servant Frank Nicotero. My job, and I'm so grateful to have it, is to head off to intriguing lands such as Texas and Florida in search of souls who are kind enough to answer my many questions. Then I trot back to the place of origin with their answers in hand and give two fine contestants the noble task of deciding who thinks knowledge is power and who thinks ignorance is bliss. And here they are now. We got Hello Hector right there. Woo! Just like Thunderdome, only one can win, so hit below the belt. Now, let's meet the three sidewalk servants. First, oh, savants, not servants. First, Chelsea revealed her penchant for the posterior. So, Chelsea, where are you from? I'm from Oregon City. Oregon City, and what do you do in Oregon City? I got out of high school last year, and now I'm just taking a year off. And where'd you graduate in your class? How'd you do? Uh, probably at the bottom. Where do you see yourself 10 years from now? Hopefully on stage dancing in the American Ballet Academy. If you could date someone famous, who would that be? Brad Pitt. No hesitation there, Brad. No hesitation. He is the nicest ass. You know, a lot of girls tell me I have the same butt. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's there. Chelsea, I'm sorry. Yeah. And Al explained that if you can't take the heat, you should get out of Vegas. Al, oh, what do you do here in Vegas? I am a sous chef over at the Commander's Palace restaurant. Now, how hot does it get behind the grill there? About 400 degrees. Now, how do you handle that? Well, I was a born native here in Las Vegas, and it's always hot here. Al, if you could marry someone famous, who would it be? Probably Janet Jackson. Oh, she still looks good at 35. She looks good at 95. <laughs> Who's the smartest person you know? Me. And you've seen Street Smarts before, right? Yeah. So you're perfect for the show. You're a smart guy, Alvin. I'm a natural for this show. All right. <laughs> OK, finally, Buckwheat. Yes, Buckwheat proved how cruel <laughs> parents can be. No, really, your name is Buckwheat? Really, my name is Buckwheat. No, it's not. Do you have proof of this? I do. There it is there. It's Buckwheat. So, Buckley, tell me, what do you do? I'm a cameraman. So, where do you see yourself five years from now? Hopefully retired and living very large. Retired young? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tay, Buckley. All right, push up your sleeves, because we're going to get our hands dirty in our first round. Who knew it? I asked all three the same question. You guys have to figure out who got it right. Lock in your choice or Chris Crack gets you 100 bucks, all right? All right. Let's do it. Here's the first question I asked uh, Chelsea, Al, and Buckwheat. <laughs> What's the flowery name of Porky Pig's girlfriend? What's the flowery name of Porky Pig's girlfriend? Lock in and tell me who you guys think knew it. If you're right, I'll give you 100 bucks. Good bunch of people up there on the screens today. All right, you're both locked in, and you think Chelsea knows, huh, Hector? Yeah, she grew up in bottom of her class. Right, Sure, right. she okay. watched a lot of cartoons. Okay, oh, okay. all right. <laughs> What's the flowery name of Porky Pig's girlfriend? Daisy. Daisy Pig. Daisy. And do you like Porky Pig? No. You don't like Porky Pig? He's fat. I know, but you know, he's a pig. He's supposed to be. I don't like meat. Okay. That's a wrong oh. answer, Hector. Chelsea did not know that. I know some Donald. people. Donald. Yeah, right. OK. All right. <laughs> oh, that was Daisy. Donald Duck's girlfriend. Yeah, exactly. Now, Rakefet, you think Buckwheat knows? Yeah. OK, let's find out. <laughs> What's the flowery name of Porky Pig's girlfriend? It is Daisy. Daisy Pig? Daisy Pig. Okay, that's the wrong answer too, Kevin. I'm sorry, Buck, we didn't wow. know. I think the person who knew is Al. What's the flowery name of Porky Pig's girlfriend? Petunia. <laughs> right, it is Petunia Pig. Me, 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 it's all over, folks. <laughs> that's all. All right, guys, here's the next question. Don't worry, forget that one. What large letter is at the top of a standard eye chart? So who knew it? Do you think it was Chelsea, Al, or Buckwheat? Knew what letter's at the top of an eye chart? Let's try to get this one right. I'll give you guys some money, and we'll be off and running. OK, you're both locked in. You think Al knows, huh, Hector? You saw him get the yeah, last one, right? This a pretty sharp guy. Pretty sharp guy? This one also. OK, let's find out, see if we can get you on the board. What large letter is at the top of a standard eye chart? I. It's an I. Yeah, that's why they call it an eye chart. Right. There you go. 
Yeah. I'm sorry, Hector, that's a wrong answer. Okay, I did not know. Right. Now, Rakefa, you think Chelsea will know? Yeah, totally, because she's young and she's probably just been to the eye doctor recently. Oh, oh well, usually you think the eyes would be good then. Yeah, well, no, because they get it checked all ah, the time. Ah, standard checkups required. Very good, let's see if it works. <laughs> what large letter is at the top of a standard eye chart? E. It is an E. Oh. I'm so smart. There you go. She got the right way to go, Rakefa. You got 100 bucks. And just for fun, let's see what Buckley said. What large letter is at the top of a standard eye chart? A. It's an A? It's an A, for sure. How's your vision? 20, 20. It is? Yeah. Okay, let me show you how you did on this one. How, can you see this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, silly there. All right, here's the last question, guys. Hector, we're gonna try to get you some money on this one. Let's go. Who do you wanna hang out with if you're looking for solitude? Who do you want to hang out with if you're looking for solitude? Who knew it up there? You think it was Chelsea, Al, or Buckwheat? All right, and you guys are both locked in now. And let's see here, you think Al knows it, Hector, going back to Al. Yeah, I'm gonna, he's gonna get one of these right. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> Who do you want to hang out with if looking for solitude? Probably Superman. Maybe Superman? Yeah. Go to the Fortress of Solitude? Solitude, yeah. It's the wrong answer, Hector. I'm sorry, you didn't know that. Now, Rakefitz, you're gonna go back to Buckwheat. It worked last time, huh? Yeah, I think that he's alone a lot. It didn't work last time. What am I thinking? <laughs> All right, you think he's alone a lot? All right, let's find out. Buckwheat, who do you want to hang out with if you're looking for solitude? Yourself. You want to hang out with yourself. Exactly. You don't want Alfalfa around. You don't want, like, you know, Mickey around. You don't want Darla annoying you. You want to be Buckwheat. Buckwheat all by itself. Okay. Okay. He got it right way to go, Rakefitz. That's 100 bucks for you. Nice job. Hector, you don't have any money right now, but it's early in jail. Rakefitz got 200 bucks. You guys know I love you, right? But I need some time for myself, too, some solitude. It's not a breakup, it's just a commercial break. I already missed you. Just hurry back, please. Come back. In what state will you find Newark, Hoboken, and Atlantic City? Louisiana. They're in Louisiana, they're down south. Yes, down south. And how many states do we have here in the United States of America? 53. 53? Everyone always forgets that last one, you have to count it's the 53rd state. I think it's Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Yeah, hey, welcome back to Street Smarts, we're having a blast. It's time to collect the data on our in-studio contestants. We got Hector here. Hector, originally from Ogden, Utah, works uh, for a wireless company. Tell me a funny story. Yeah, once I had a uh, customer call in, she was having problems with her cell phone. Mm -hmm. So I told her, come on in the store, see what I can do for her. She came in the store, it turns out that her phone was turned off. The power? Yeah, the power was completely <laughs> off. Oh, oh, all right. Oh. Save me a trip. Yeah. All right. Rakevit, originally from Los Angeles, California, recent graduate. Yes. So you. Go ahead, tell oh, me Oh, yeah, story. well, I, I uh, woke up at 5.30 to go to school. My car wouldn't start, and I overreacted, and I woke up my parents, and it turned out the car was in reverse. The car was in reverse. Oh, Hector, oh, was, nice. was the woman who wasn't able to turn her phone on named Rakefit? <laughs> oh, no! I did it! I'm joking. Thanks it's for being nice, here. Frank. Let's nice. recap the scores. Hector, you don't have any money yet, but okay, Rakefit, you got 200 okay, bucks. She's annoying. I hope you've got a spare in your trunk, because it's time to play. Who blew it? I right, ask the same question, only two at a time. You guys have to figure out who got it wrong. Lock in your choice, a correct guess earns you $200. Plus there's yeah. the dunce cap right there. It can only be used once this round. And you think your opponent doesn't know the answer, buzz in and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get the 200 bucks. But if they're right, they get the 200 bucks. Just like Shannon Doherty, the cap can be a total witch. So look out. <laughs> All right, here's the first, I'm getting political in Hollywood. All right, here's the first question I asked both Al and Buckwheat. I asked both gentlemen, in baseball, what's a grand slam? So who blew it? Who did not know their baseball? Was it Al or Buckwheat? Guys, lock in when you know who blew it. And if you're right, I'll give you 200 bucks. Hector, hopefully you can win. All right, you're both locked in. Both going with Buckwheat. Uh, Hector, you don't think he knows this one? Yeah, I don't think he watches too much baseball. Right. Well, he has alone too much. Yeah, same. I don't, I don't think he watches baseball. All right, let's see if you guys are right. Buckwheat, in baseball, what's a grand slam? A home run with everybody on the base. That's right. Oh. Uh -huh. You guys thought Buckley would blow it, but he did know it. You know who blew it? It was Al. Al in baseball, what's a grand slam? A grand slam is when you hit the ball into the grand, into the grand slam. What is that? Where they're yeah. standing. You knock it out the park. Now, if it's a home run, it just goes over the wall, not into the stands. It's just a yeah, home run. It's over the wall. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> thought it had to do a distance. No, that's all right. Let's go. Here's the next question I asked to Chelsea, the lovely Chelsea and the lovely Buckwheat. That'll be equal. <laughs> what language was created specifically for the deaf? 
So, who, oh, you've been dunked for Kevin Hedger. Put that hat up there. I'm going to read the question again. You'll have five seconds to answer it. 200 bucks on the line. If you miss this, Hector's on the board and we got a tie game. What language was created specifically for the deaf? Sign language. It's all right, man. It's all right. Here we go. Kevin. Throw that cap on Hector. You're up to 400 bucks. He doesn't have anything. Now, who do you guys think blew it up there? Do you think it was Chelsea or Buckwheat? What do you think? And that hat exactly matches your shirt. It's the same pattern and all. Perfect. All right. Okay. So uh, let's see. You guys are both locked in, and you think Chelsea blew it, huh, Hector? Yeah, I hope so. I need some money. Let's right. go. Exactly. Chelsea. Let's take it. <laughs> what language was created specifically for the deaf? Sign language. Okay, what's this mean? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like Bon Jovi. <laughs> she got it right, Hector. I'm sorry, oh, man. Oh, 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 you are right again. Yeah. Buckwheat yeah. blew it. Check it out. <laughs> Buckwheat, what language was created specifically for the deaf? Braille. <laughs> yeah, Braille's wrong. That's for the blind. Way to go. You're up to 600 bucks. All right. Yeah. Here's the last question of the round. Hector, you don't have any money right now. rakefet has got 600. Here's a question I asked to Chelsea and to Al. What type of animal is a Sharpe? What type of animal is a Sharpe? Which one blew it, Chelsea or Al? Lock in. And you guys are both locked in pretty quickly on this. You both think Al blew it. Rakefet, he won't know this one? I don't think he knows what a Sharpe is. I don't have a better answer. Chelsea's had a Sharpe. You think Chelsea yeah. would know? It looks so like she's process had it before, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see if Al blew it for both of you. What type of animal is a Sharpe? Uh, Sharpay, that's a Chinese dog. A Chinese dog. Show me what you'd look like if you were a Sharpay. I'm sorry, you both went with Al. He knew that answer. Oh, it looked like Chelsea man. was the one who blew it. All right, let's recap the scores. Let's see, Hector. You don't have any money right now, buddy. Don't worry. The, okay. Don't worry. Right. Rock it. No 600 problem. bucks. Yeah. I'm best of breed in my class. Oh, yeah, I'm Blue Ribbon, baby. But we're going to run with the thoroughbreds when Street Smarts continues. Stick around, my friend. If someone is a man of the cloth, what is his profession? A man of the cloth, he's probably a tailor. A tailor of some sort. Right, yeah, man of the cloth. Probably a tailor. Chew on this is the slogan for what product? Juicy fruit gum. Juicy fruit. Mmm, juicy fruit. Mmm. Don't you want to watch the World Series, Chief? Put the ball on the hoop. <laughs> that was me trying to do one flew over cuckoo's name. Let's find out who's going to tear up the track in our next round. Pick your pony! We should choose a question for the entire round and try to guess how to answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth $300, you guys. Yes, the dunce cap is back. It's worth $300. You can only use it once. Now, the player who was trailing chooses first. Um, I believe that's Hector. So, Hector, who would you like to ride out the round with? Going with Chelsea. Chelsea. All right, and Rex. Kevin, you have 600 bucks in the lead. You're going to go with Chelsea. <laughs> All right, Hector, here's the first question to Chelsea. Finish this common CB radio expression. 10-4, good blank. So what do you think? Think she got it right or wrong? No way. You don't she's think she not, got it? She's got that wrong. All, All right, let's see if we can get you on the board, Hector. Finish this common CB radio expression. 10-4, good blank. Asses. Yes. That's the wrong answer. Way to go, Hector. Good buddy. Remember Convoy? Great song. You just cut the lead in half, Hector. Nice there job. It is. All right, Rick Heffett, your first question to Buckley. In what movie would you hear the line, Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore? <laughs> what do you think? Think he got that right or wrong, Rick Heffett? You think? I think he got it right. You think he pulled through on this I one? I think he got it right. I mean, I hope he got it right. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> in what movie would you hear the line, Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore? Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz. And who do you identify with most in the Wizard of Oz? The Tin Man. The Tin Man, why? Because you, 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 you're, you need... I need a brain. Yeah. They got it right. Way to go. Right. 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 Nice yeah. job. All right, Hector. Cool. You're one for one in this round. Let's keep it rolling. I asked Chelsea, what are the first three letters in the word gymnasium? Do you think she got that right or wrong? No way. You don't think she got this? No. She couldn't do this one? No. She huh? didn't know. Lowest in class, no way. All right, Hector, let's find out. What are the first three letters in the word gymnasium? J-Y-M. What was your favorite thing in J-Y-M class? Um, trying to do the splits. G, E, G. <laughs> she got it wrong, where yeah. you go, Hector? Like See, I said G. It's true. I said G, because it's G-Y-M. G-Y-M, Jim. All right, Hector, you're two for two. All right, he's putting the, he's putting the heat on you here, Kevin. Um, here's a, the next one for you to Buckwheat. I showed Buckwheat this card. 
showed him that card, and I asked him to tell me what the verb is in this sentence. So what do you think? Think he got it right or wrong? I think he got it wrong. You don't think he knows this one? I don't think so. Okay, let's take a look, see if we can get you another 300 bucks. Tell me what the verb is in this sentence. Runs. Runs, because a verb is what? Action. Like Steve yeah. Austin there running in slow motion. All right, that was funny. All right, here's the next question, Hector. You're two for two, buddy. You can perfect score. If you get this prediction right, you tied it up. All right. How about that? All right, I asked Chelsea, what country are Lebanese people from? Oh, Hector, you've been done. They're coming. Throw the, throw the dunce cap up there. Hector, you can tie it up now. I'm going to read this question again. You have five seconds to answer it. If you get this right, it's 900 apiece. What country are Lebanese people from? Libya? She got it right or wrong? If I got it wrong, she got it wrong. All right. No way. Oh, lock in. Uh, lock in there. There you go. All right, let's see if she got it wrong. What country are Lebanese people from? Lebanon. They're from Lebanon. Where is Lebanon? India. <laughs> That's a correct answer, sort of. She got Lebanon right, so. That's okay. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. Can't give you the 300 bucks. Because everyone knows Lebanon is Lebanon. OK, all right. <laughs> Here's the last question for you to Buckwheat. Uh, you have a you have a, a lead here, Rakefa. You can uh, increase it. I asked Buckwheat, what do you call the sticks traditionally used to eat Chinese food? What do you think? Oh, I think he got it right. You think he'll come through? Come on, Buckwheat. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go. What do you call the sticks traditionally used to eat Chinese food? Chopsticks. And if you played chopstick on a piano, how would it sound? Hector, you got 600 bucks now, ain't bad. Rakefet, $1,500. Nice now, when we return, Hector and Rakefet will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Chelsea, Al, and Buckwheat. I showed all three this photo and asked them, who is this actor? I can't feel my pulse. Maybe that's because when we come back, we'll be making... The Wager Stick around for a proof of life. Here's the 411. Yeah. Now, during the break, each of you secretly chose a person out in the field, predicted if they would get the question right or wrong, and then made a wager not to exceed your total. Recap of the scores Hector's got 600 bucks. Yeah. He's down the pony run. And Rakev at $1,500. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Now, you wouldn't believe how many women thought this was me. Okay. <laughs> totally. Oh, yeah. All right, I showed Chelsea, Al, and Buckwheat this photo, and I asked them, who is this actor? So let's get your choice. It's Hector. You're trailing right now, but it's never over on Street Smart. So whose clip do you want to see and try to win? Chelsea. You're going with Chelsea. Rock you got 1,500 bucks. You're going to also go with Chelsea. All right, nobody chose Al or Buckwheat. I'm going to say bye to those guys, and we had a blast with them. So uh, let's see here. One clip left in the show. That's it. So all the money rides on Chelsea. Let's see what she said. Chelsea, who is this actor? Russell Crowe? It is Russell Crowe. All right, she said Russell Crowe. That's a right answer. Now, Hector, you went with Chelsea. She got it right. What did you say? You said I, right, she baby. would get it right. All right, how much of your yeah. $600 did you wager? Bank. He went for all. Yeah. There you go. Put a little heat on. $1,200 now for Hector. Now, Rakevich, you also went with Chelsea. We saw her get it right. What did you say she would do? You said she would get it right. We also learned that it's not 10 for good asses, it's 10 for good buddy. All right, see you next time. Who is this actor? Bob Cassidy. Who is this actor? Um, uh, Peter Dorff. Peter Dorff? Yeah. 